a few years ago, people might remember that some of our lakes caught fire. If you have very, very high amounts of organic content and under certain very specific circumstances, you could have large amounts of methane generation and other kinds of gases and then somebody throws a cigarette butt and the whole thing catches fire. These highly polluted lakes became an embarrassment and then there was a National Green Tribunal case and so on and the city was directed to do something about the sewage problem. And the lakes problem first. You can't build a sewage network overnight. So the easiest way to do it was our Jugaad way of then saying, okay, we'll take the sewage and we'll make it bypass the lake. So it's like a stenting in your heart, right? Of course, you push the problem downstream. The sewage hasn't gone away because you haven't treated it. But at least it's not coming into that lake on a daily basis anymore. So when it rained, that water was also not entering the lake. So then a lot, a lot of lakes there is say, oh, okay, we can't do that. So what we'll do is we'll put a wall hmm. between the drain and the lake. Okay, and what will happen is that most of the time there's a steady flow of sewage. But then when it rains, you suddenly have a stormwater surge. And then that diluted sewage and stormwater will now make it over the threshold and fill the lake. Hmm. So you're still getting sewage into the lake. It's just not a daily assault. And when you're getting it, it's diluted with rainwater. In theory, a little more manageable. And then they would put some kind of a plant and constructed wetland. And then some of the nutrients would get captured by the plants. And then you'd get... Because this was the grand compromise that happened in many Bangalore's lake.